Hi, Miss Jean here. Have you started school again for the year? Well, how are you feeling about your classes? Is there one class that you struggle with more than the others? Well, for Janet, algebra is a struggle. Like a few of her friends, she decided to take Algebra 1 during her 8th grade year. But right now, Janet's rethinking her decision to take this high school class early. Miss Holt might just have an interesting way to help her. Let's join them and find out in today's mini-adventure called Mathematical Melody. Jack's dad is four times older than Jack. In 14 years' time, Jack's dad will be twice the age of Jack. How old is Jack? I'm already confused. Janet, how are you doing? Terrible, Miss Holt. I can't remember how to start. That's okay. Just read the question out loud again. Jack's dad is four times older than Jack. In 14 years' time, Jack's dad will be twice the age of Jack. How old is Jack? Good. Now what's your first step in solving the problem? Dropping out of Algebra 1. <laughs> Janet! What? That'll solve this problem and all the rest of the ones I'll have to figure out all year. Janet, you were one of my best math students in 7th grade. I wouldn't have recommended you for Algebra 1 if I didn't think you could handle it. Miss Holt, I'm afraid you were wrong. <laughs> Janet, take a deep breath. Now what's your first step? Ask Jack when his birthday is? <laughs> um, that's a unique spin on it. Wait, where's everyone going? Lana? Gracie? Janet, focus on your own work. Remember, I told the class you could each go outside quietly when you finish the problem. But, uh, Kyler? Logan? You guys? Janet? Now what's the first step to solving for Jack's age? It's just me and Harold left. Everyone else got it so fast. That's all right, as long as you finish. This isn't a race. Ugh, seriously? Even Harold finished the problem before me. Janet, put your pencil down for a minute. Gladly. Now let's talk about this problem. Oh, I do not want to talk about Jack and his birthday anymore today. Okay, then let's not. Um, okay. Did you hear my harp solo in church this weekend? I did. It was so beautiful, Miss Holt. Oh, thank you. It was a new piece. I had to practice for weeks to get it right. For weeks? But you're an experienced harpist. Oh, yes. But new pieces still take practice. Oh, who am I kidding? Even old pieces still take practice. Wait, so you mean you still have to practice your harp? Yeah, I do. Or I'll get rusty if I don't play. Ugh, so practicing never ends? No. Most things in life take practice and persistence. Even playing the harp. You just make it look so easy, Miss Holt. Oh, that's a nice compliment, Janet. But learning the harp was tough. At least for me, anyway. Oh? Oh, yeah. In the beginning, I felt like my fingers were all thumbs and practicing plucking the strings hurt them. Ouch, but you must have learned fast. No, not at all. And many, many times I wanted to quit. Oh, I'm so glad you didn't. <laughs> Me too, but it didn't feel like it at the time. Some days I would cry during my practices. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, but I persisted. Eventually I could play some simple pieces. And your fingers got used to the strings, right? They did. And I started to have fun. Until... That sounds ominous. Until what? Until my music teacher put the piece in front of me. Oh, a toughie, huh? Oh, yeah. For me, anyway. <laughs> what was it? It was Claire de... Hey, do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. Here, let me see if I can stream it for you. Okay. Oh, here we go. Now this isn't a harp, it's a piano version. But listen. Oh, that's gorgeous. It is. It's Claire de Lune by Debussy. 
It's so soothing. <laughs> well, it felt like torture when I first tried it. But then, one day, it just clicked. And now you can play it like a pro. Not quite. But it sure felt good to learn this piece and to enjoy playing it. Oh, don't turn it off. Oh, okay. I'll just turn it down a little. Now, you know, Janet, algebra... Miss Holt, I know what you're going to say. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that learning to play the harp was difficult, but you kept at it and you didn't quit. That's right. I persisted. And even though algebra is hard, I shouldn't quit. One day I'll be doing algebra like a pro. Hey, I might even be a major in it in college. Well, I wasn't going to go that far, but yes, I did want to encourage you to keep at it. To not quit. Well? Well what? <laughs> Was I successful? Is Debussy's melody convincing you to have another go at figuring out Jack's age? Well, yes, actually it is. Good. Okay, let me read the problem again. Good decision. Jack's dad is four times older than Jack. In 14 years' time, Jack's dad will be twice the age of Jack. How old is Jack? And your first step is what? To identify what I need to solve for. I need to solve for Jack's age, so that is X. Good. Now Jack's dad is four times older, four times... So four times X, right? Absolutely. Keep going, Janet. You're doing great. Thanks, Miss Holt. In 14 years' time, that will be... Twice the old of Jack. I think that Janet is going to solve her algebra problem. What do you think? And how about you? Would you like to take a try at solving the problem? You might find a parent or a grandparent nearby who would love the challenge too. Ask them to join you. Just skip back in the episode and listen to Janet reading the problem. Then write it down and put your thinking cap on. And write to us when you solve it, will you? And don't give up trying. Exercising our faith means being persistent or not giving up when something good is difficult. Whether you're practicing on the court, studying for an exam, or learning a new instrument, just keep at it. God will help you and you will be blessed now and in the future by the time that you're putting into it today. You know that piece we heard, Claire de Lune by Debussy? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's one of my favorites. Would you like to keep listening to it? I think I would. Well, how about this? To close, we'll play the rest of the piece so you can enjoy. We'll see you next time.